Hello and welcome to another update video about BNB. Yeah, and you can see when something is moving, it's moving. So BNB is also following nicely here my primary expectation. We talked about this Elliott Wave count in the previous videos. It's currently working out. We are pushing higher um, as expected as per this Elliott Wave count that would suggest that we have already seen the low here at $183 provided we are holding first of all this wave too low at $240 that is important below that level the bearish scenario will get back into focus because we're invalidating one of these um, impulsive moves however even more important is to hold this wave too low at $217 below that I think we're going to see the $183 again However, as per uh, the Elite Wave count in the previous videos, we looked at it uh, in terms of this being a wave one, this being a wave two. So there's two possibilities, yeah, but it doesn't really make a great difference. Um, primary expectation here is that this here was a wave one, this a wave two. We're now here in white in the wave three, and that could really push all the way believe I talked about that in the previous videos anyway. Um, yeah, probably here around $379. The reason for that is we've got another one, two set up here, which means that the white wave three is an extended wave. And you can see here, this is what I would love Bitcoin to do as well, doing this one, two, which we've done and now pushing up in this, in this third wave, which Bitcoin so far has failed to do. Um, yeah, and, and here you can see, you know, a lot of people call what Bitcoin is doing a bear flag. I'm, I'm extremely skeptical about that. I talked about that in previous videos. Here you could strictly say this was a bear flag as well. However, again, it doesn't, you know, broke out and we retested and we're pushing higher. This is what Bitcoin needs to do as well. Uh, it, again, doesn't matter. So we hit the wave too low here, found nice support on this moving average. What moving average was that? The 50 day yeah, moving average, pushed higher, broke out of this wedge came down to retest in a wave four. So the Elite Wave count from the previous video was still pretty much uh, working out. You can see that we can see this as a one, two, three, four. <sighs> yeah, it, it's not great because, oh, let me just, nah, because the um, the wave four has actually retraced too much. For now we can leave it. Um, you could rather say that all of this was the wave one here yeah so that this only was the wave one we leave it for now because it doesn't violate any rules really but it's just the wave four retraced a bit too much but let's just for uh simplicity reasons we just leave it as it is so we count this as a one two a three four and now the wave five is ongoing technically we've already completed here the requirements for the wave five of the wave three because we have moved above the previous wave three so looking at this, yeah, the target for the yellow wave three in brackets would need to be $330. That's where I would like it to go to. It doesn't necessarily need to get there, but it would be good. It would be good, okay? But um, anywhere now, yeah, possibly already approaching the next resistance here of the wave four high at $311. Here I would expect another wave four retracement at some point, either now between now and $330. So there would be a wave four retracement. For wave four retracement would be roughly the 20 to 30% retracement of the wave three. And then we would move up in a wave five. That however would only complete white wave three. Then there would be a white wave four and a white wave five. So you can see the primary expectation here would suggest that we're doing currently uh, that we expect this uptrend to continue and that we expect only shallow retracements for now. You can do a few things. Here. First of all, we can see nicely actually this uh, curve approaching. That, that looks good, a little bit like a parabolic move starting possibly. Um, we can draw a trend line as support to allow us to understand when this trend is changing. So that will be useful. And other than that, it means just waiting until this is over. Yeah? But um, for now, I think this wave three is continuing. Then there again, there will be a wave four retracement in yellow and a wave five to the upside in the wave three to the level of around $370.
this is valid as long as I said, you know, we hold these wave two lows. Already a break below the previous wave four low here would indicate that we are going in the wrong direction. Yeah, so if we key, I mean, the next key support is $275. If you lose that, you're probably gonna come down here to the $240 level, that wave two. And then we really need to question this, um, the bullish scenario we should now, if we roll out like this, we should not break that previous swing low anymore. Okay, and that's my update about BNB. So, so far, the Elite Wave count is working out again here. Yeah, looking good at the moment for the bullish scenario. Again, bullish scenario, 60% probability to be successful, in my opinion, that we see once more a lower low. 40%. Yeah, what would need to happen that I get even more bullish? Um, because at the moment, we still need to be very careful because I also don't want to create too much hope at the moment. Well, what would need to happen is we want to see a first impulse finished in five waves. We're currently working on that. And then I want to see the ABC wave down that I mentioned many times. So the impulse here would then be a larger wave one and what's coming down in an ABC would then be a wave two. And when that's complete and we see another buy signal, that is when I would probably lift it to 70 or even 75% probability. All right. And that's my view about BNB. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.